Well, Dave here, and we're going to talk about a night of bows. What is my experience? Well, I worked in a pro shop here in Michigan. Matter of fact, two of them. And I knew Claude Paulington and Matt Paulington of Oneida up in Marion, Michigan. I worked with Matt Paulington at a pro shop, the same pro shop that I was at, for possibly a year or so. Maybe two years. I don't remember. That was too many years ago. But I've worked on bows for almost 30 years. And, uh, you know, I still know a lot about the older stuff. How old am I? I'm 62. Being 62 does not necessarily mean that I'm out of touch. I'm out of touch of the new stuff. Boy, you give me the old bows, I'm good. So let's get into a few things about Oneida bows. You know, there's so much to tell, it's hard to pick which thing do I say first. So I'm just going to plunge into it and heck with it, you know, let the cards fall where they may. Um, the one thing is on your Oneida bow, uh, is tiller. Tiller is very important. That's the measurement from the lobe of the cam to the string. It's from the lobe of the cam to the string. It should be the same. The top and the bottom must be the same. Oh, you can be off of fuzz. Come on. What the heck? Don't get anal about it, but it, it should be seven and a half. It should be seven and a half. Well, it won't be on this distance by just using that number. If it's seven and a half at the top, make it seven and a half at the bottom. How do you do that? Well, let's say it's off of fuzz. All right. Here's a photo of the lower cam. Now, keep in mind, I don't have a bow here to take good pictures of. So I have to rely on finding ones on the internet to use to kind of help you out. All right? But this is generally on the bottom, on the bottom cam. And it's going to be on the one side or the other, depending if you're right or you're left-handed. Do not touch this one. Please, don't, don't touch that one. Good God, you touch that one. This timing cable goes around this timing wheel. It goes down through two little lighter wheels. It, and then to uh, underneath your um, handle and goes to the top. It keeps the top and the bottom in time. Okay? But we're only talking about your tiller. The tiller adjustment. Not brace height. Tiller. Alright? So, we're going to look at the bolt that fits in here. Okay? Now, on the one side, it's going to be a hex. Or possibly be, um, well, I'll show you. It's going to either look like this on the other side. Now, don't ignore the paint. The paint doesn't mean a thing. The paint color doesn't mean a thing. Okay, don't get excited. If yours is black and doesn't have little orange paint on it, okay? But it could look like this on the opposite side of that cam. Or, in fact, it could look like this okay now mind you some some models they change a few things around uh, placement of thump something uh, types of screws types of bolts but you know what it's all the same it's all the same the older ones it's all the same generally it's all the same so to adjust your tiller you must loosen this all right now it, it your cam might jump to one side and chuck to the other whatever okay we'll get into that but loosen this up so this little star here it rotates around so it's not tight against this oh it's safe it's not going to fall apart it's not going to kill you all right i love these stories oh the guy i know his old night of blew up yeah last time i knew they were made out of c4 right not Oh, guy I knew had his kneecap taken off. Really? Really? 
look at it physically down at your knee as you're sitting there possibly at the chair. And imagine your limb brushing the side of your leg. How is it going to take your kneecap off? Doggone it. You better have somebody else stand off to the side and whack it with that lower limb. Ah, oh, sorry. I, I get up on my soapbox. Or bitch now and then. It pisses me off when people bad mouth this bow. I'm sorry. And yes, I owned a couple. Did I ever work for Oneida? No. Let's get going on this. Anyway, like I said, do not loosen this one, please. Oh, my gosh. Don't loosen that one. Can of worms. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But you loosen this one. All right? Now you're ready to set the tiller. What you do is you remeasure this. And, oh, boy, it could be off. It could be off because when you loosened that, uh, that lock on the timing uh, wheel, it could have jumped on you just a hair. Probably did, right? So what you do... Just like any other bow, where you normally measure from here to here for your tiller, that's what you do on a regular compound. This is not your regular compound, or or even recurve. You measure this kind of the same way, but it's a different thing. Anyway, you don't measure from here to here. If somebody tells you that on an Oneida, say okay, right, mm -hmm, and walk away. They're an idiot. You measure from here to here for tiller. Down here is your brace. Brace height, but here's your tiller. So what you do, this is how I remember. If you need more distance down at that bottom, turn it more poundage at the top. It's that easy. Okay? If you need more distance to make it equal, at the top, what do you do? Turn the bottom limb. Just a fuzz. Maybe a quarter to a half turn. Who knows? But tighten the limb in. Give it more poundage at the bottom. Right? You go back and forth. It's going to take you a little while. But hey, the other little trick is turn the bow horizontally. Okay, so the string is up, all right? Like here in the picture. Like I said, I'm getting these pictures off the internet. I don't have a bow. Look here. This is the power cable. This is the yoke cable. Look at the power cable, all right? See how it is right here? It's just below the edge of the timing wheel. Just below it. If you turn the bow off to the side, you're out in the field, you can physically look at that and see if it's close. Because you can tighten the limb and watch this move. Is that cool? So, yeah, measure it, but you can also turn the bow on the side. You know? So, look at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I just flipped the picture. <laughs> look at the bottom and measure it from here to here. Okay? Look at the top, measure it from here to here. When you have it right, what do you do? You go right back to here and tighten it. All right? You know, it, this head here used to just mess up. Used to, uh, people bring it in, oh, it's no good. You know what? Go to the hardware, get one. Take it out if you want. It's a, boy, it's been a while, but I think it's a 1024. How long? About that long. <laughs> I don't remember. But anyway, because we always had them in the drawer. You just pull the drawer and pop a new one in, you know. But take it to the hardware. Get one just like it. Pop it in there. Don't don't get anything but that particular type of head. No higher. Why? Because it will scrub the underside of this plate. All right? If this head's too high, it will scrub the bottom side of that plate. Look on your bow. It may in fact have that. All right. I see my time is at 10 minutes. So I'm just going to run through this kind of quick and then I'm going to go to uh, brace height. Adjusting your brace height is very important. So remember, don't, don't, don't 
don't touch this. This guy right here, don't touch it. That's later, okay? Don't do it. Good God. The bolt that fits in here on the other side, that's the one that you touch, okay? So, again, measure from the highest point of your cam, the lobe of the cam, to the string, both sides, okay? If it's five and a half here, you want five and a half at the bottom. Again, do not here to here thinking that's your tiller. Again, if somebody tells you that, tell them they're smoking weed, man. It's not it. If you don't believe me, ask Claude Paulington. If you don't be, believe me, ask Matt Paulington. If you don't believe me, don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. So anyway, that's it. And I'm going to have a few other videos here that I'm going to do on the Oneida bow. The best, easiest bow to work on. And a lot of people say he's crazy for saying that. Well, I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy, all right. But I'm telling you, these are easy to work on. I can help most people, most that is, most, fix the older bows. You have the parts. I can help you over the phone. You believe that? I can help you over the phone. I can take these apart, put them together with my eyes closed. It's easy. Anyway, later guys, shoot straight. Aim small, hit small, right? Make sure you know your target before you blast it. Have fun, bring home memories. You don't need a buck.